வீட்டுக்கு மூணு குடங்க டெய்லி வரும் லாரி ஒரு டேங்கு தண்ணி எடுக்கிறதுனால வந்து எனக்கு வந்து ஸ்டடிஸ் அஃபெக்ட் ஆகுது தண்ணி கஷ்டத்தால ரொம்ப பாதிக்கிறோம் கொஞ்ச நாள் நிம்மதியா தூங்க முடியல பண கஷ்டம் எல்லாருக்குமே தண்ணி கஷ்டம்ன்றது எல்லாருக்குமே இருக்கு இது என்னைக்கு சால்வ் ஆகும் தெரியல தண்ணி எடுக்கிறதா நான் வேலைக்கு போறதா என்ன சரி எனக்கு ஒண்ணும் புரியல தண்ணி வந்து சில நாள் காலையில மூணு மணிக்கு வந்துருது அதனால நாங்க அதாவது ரெண்டு மணில இருந்து தூங்காம சில நாள் எல்லாம் எதிர்பார்த்துட்டு இருக்கோம் சில நாள் திடீர்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா காலையில எட்டு மணிக்கு வரும் அதனால ரொம்ப கஷ்டமா இருக்கும் அந்த தண்ணியில சமைச்சு கொடுக்குற சாப்பாடு நல்லா சுத்தமா இருக்க மாட்டேங்குது குழந்தைங்களுக்கு வயிற்று வலி பேதி எல்லாம் வருது இதுக்காக மழை வந்தா நல்லா இருக்கும் இதுக்காக சாயிரம் தான் நாங்க ப்ரே பண்றோம் கஷ்டமா இருக்கு லாரியில தான் வாங்குறா லாரியில கூட கரெக்டா லாரி கரெக்டா லாரி வர மாட்டாங்க ஏன்னா டே டைம்ல லாரி உள்ள வரக்கூடாது நைட்ல தான் வரணும் தண்ணி எடுக்கிற இடத்துல அவங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப ப்ராப்ளமா இருக்கு அங்கே ஜனங்க விட மாட்டேன்றாங்க அதனால ரொம்ப கஷ்டமா இருக்கு டெய்லி தண்ணி போ லாரி வாங்கி தான் ஆகணும் இல்லைன்னா இங்க பிசினஸ் பண்ண முடியாது அந்த அளவு கஷ்டமா இருக்கு சி பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் ப்ராப்ளம் த டிராஃபிக் எஸ் பிகம் வெரி வெரி கஞ்சஸ்டட் ஆல் ஆர் பிளாக்ட் பை தி லாரிஸ் வி ஆர் கெட்டிங் லாட் ஆஃப் ஆக்சிடென்ட் கேசஸ் we get lot of diseases like uh, sporadic cases of uh, typhoid and uh, cholera and diarrhea what is contaminated about a few weeks ago i admitted a man with chest pain you know what brought about his chest pain he has to here to carry this kodams of water up to his flat which is on the third floor many buildings don't have lifts up to the third floor and he had to carry this water up and he was a hypertensive and this too in the middle of the night because they don't know when the tanni lorry will come okay and he developed chest pain So you see how something like water shortage can lead to even a heart attack. Financial health is devastated. Most middle class families end up spending more than 1000 rupees a month. This is the fundamental need which has to be addressed. My husband and I also work in certain homes for uh, destitute people. In one such home we are getting water from the villages in tankers. One fine day suddenly all the inmates turned blue because the water from the village areas was contaminated with nitrates which is then the fertilizer. Nitrate contaminated water can result in a poisoning known as methemoglobinemia. The inmates all started turning blue. I got a frantic call at night. I slept the whole night in that home. Luckily by God's grace we were able to rush the badly affected people to some ICU in some uh, hospitals and they all survived. Everybody survived. There was no casualty all recovered. But just look at that contamination of water. So we are facing a lot of problems. And then in January 2002 Something totally unexpected happened. It was the first anniversary of Bhagwan Baba's super speciality hospital in Bangalore. There was a health meet organized to mark the occasion. And in the course of his divine discourse During that meet Swami took everyone by surprise by making a most extraordinary announcement ee naadu pavithramaina petti yokka ee samayam nandu yenu marukutu kodan sankalpinchukunnanu bhagavan has willed another at this sacred moment of time madras rashtram lopala thraagadaniki neeru ledhu there in the state of tamil nadu madras there is no water ఏదో ధనవంతులు లారీలతోనో లేక బండ్లతోనో తెప్పించుకొని త్రాగగలుగుతున్నారు రిచ్ పీపుల్ కెన్ అఫోర్డ్ టు బై వాటర్ ఫ్రమ్ లాంగ్ డిస్టెన్సెస్ ఈ బీద ప్రజలు ఏ నీటి ని కొనుకోగలరు హౌ డు ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ పూర్ పీపుల్ టు బై వాటర్ ఏ ప్రాణాలు నిలుపుకోగలరు హౌ కెన్ దే కంటిన్యూ టు లివ్ కనుకొనే వర్షంతో పడినటువంటి ఆ గుంతల్లో నీరు త్రాగి ఆరోగ్యాన్ని పాడు చేసుకుంటున్నారు ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ దే జస్ట్ డ్రింక్ ద వాటర్ దట్ ఆస్ దేర్ ఇన్ పిట్స్ దేర్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద రెయిన్ అండ్ స్పాయిల్ దేర్ హెల్త్ కనుకొనే ఎంత నష్టమైనా సరే ఎంత కష్టమైనా సరే మెడ్రాస్ కంత కూడాను మంచి నీరు అందించాలని నేను let it be very difficult let it be a stupendous magnificent task bhagavan has decided to supply drinking water idu tappaka nerveertundi it is bound to be successful neeku sandeham ledhu don't doubt it aa drudamaina tundi vishwasanni manavudu abhiruddhi parichukovali you should have strong faith in these things the people of chennai had not specifically prayed to swami to solve their problems but the lord does not wait for prayers when his children are in deep distress he rushes to their aid as he promised to do now
Chennai did not receive water properly via the Kandaleru Pundi Canal because due to paucity of funds, the reservoir and the canal were executed basically as earthwork. However, the consequences were disastrous. The slope of the Kandaleru Reservoir became prone to leakage and erosion and bushes started to grow. As for the canal, its walls too were prone to erosion. In many places, there was silting of the bed and seepage losses. Much water was also lost by leakage from the sides of the canal. A few months after Swami's dramatic announcement, the Sri Satchasai Central Trust initiated action on rejuvenating and reviving the entire Kandaleru Pundi Canal, starting with the Kandaleru Reservoir. Often, work went on day and night. And when the work at Kandaleru was completed, this is how it looked. Incidentally, the storage capacity of the Kandaleru reservoir was trouble. Everywhere, a totally professional approach was adopted. First, a proper profile was designed for the canal sides in accordance with the requirements of hydraulics. Next, Silt was removed wherever necessary and the canal bed was properly prepared. It is only after these preliminary preparations that the paving of the canal was done. Here too, there were three stages. First, a layer of concreting was done. On this was then placed a special imported high-density polyethylene film to totally eliminate seepage losses. On top of this film, another layer of concrete was then added. For paving the canal, special machines called pavers were employed. As many as nine pavers were pressed into service so that work could proceed simultaneously in many places. Here we see the paving of the canal bed in progress. After paving comes curing. What a contrast between the unlined and the lined portions of the canal.